first went surfing at a place called Shoreham over at Point, Point Leo. Uh, I went there because that's where my dad used to surf when he was um, when he was surfing, and he used to shape as well. So we went there. It was a nice, nice, safe beach and um, reef there. So we we started off there, and then. Um, we started going to Phillip Island because it was a little bit closer to where I lived and and the people I surfed with was with my best mate that I grew up with. We grew up across the road from each other and ever since for well, preschool I think it was and we used to skate a lot so we were in, inland a bit so it was me and my, my mates I used to skate with that I used to surf with and no one really taught us. We, um, we used to go there, we, we got a few tips off my dad and a couple of the other old men's but none of them ever come out with us it was all all up to us to um to do it and it, i suppose it probably took us about um 18 months to two years to actually catch our first wave i've, I've always been a bit of a um, graffiti artist when i was younger and and that sort of led into led into um more traditional contemporary stuff so um yeah, I've been been doing art since I was a kid. So, but really, oh, from where from the age of twenty two, it sort of started. It was a little bit more than a hobby, and I was able to make money out of it. Surfing is very important to me because it's a passion of mine, and um, and it's it's been able to take me back to my culture and family. As if I if I wasn't surfing, I suppose. It's a hard one to say, but I, I don't think it would, would have taken me back to my, my family and, and people like it has. Um, and then being able, but also being able to introduce it with, to my culture as well. Well, not introduce it, but to push it within my culture has been really powerful and special to me. So um, I suppose a, I've got a passion for surfing, but I've also got a passion for my culture. So.